Right, okay, like I said, I met Ayo about a year ago at an event, um, an event in Stratford, yeah, in Stratford, yeah, and um, we, like I said, we had a conversation, it was a very empowering conversation, about three minutes long, and I just knew, I said to myself, you know what, this, this, this man, he's got something about him, I don't really know what it is, but he's got something about him, so um, afterwards, I, I spoke with him and I said, you know what, can I have your book, which is this book right over here, yeah, and he sent me a signed copy, to my house, and I read the book, yeah? I read half the book. That actually tell a lie, I read about six pages of the book, yeah? The introduction, yeah? <laughs> and then we, we started having a conversation. He met me down in Tottenham Hale, and he started saying, Reginald, what is going on with you? Um, and the, the secret about myself is that I've been in business a very, very long time. So in terms of business strategy, I'm very good at business strategy. But the challenge that I was experiencing was my personal self-limiting beliefs, yeah? And he's a special, he's a specialist at that. He 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 delivers a holistic um, coaching system that talks about business strategy, but majority of it will be about your your, your personal self-limiting beliefs, your 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 misconceptions of life, etc. etc. He will address all those things. You could say something and what you do is you pick it up and say, Oh, let's explore that. You see what I mean? And everything like that. And that's when I actually realized that was what my was, that's what my challenge was because there was times where I would, even though I've been in business for so many years, I would, I would be performing, yeah, doing all the things that I said, be on the call, be on the call, making a hundred calls a day, but for some re for some, for some many reason, the success wasn't coming, yeah, in the way that I expected it to come, yeah, and you know that's that's the thing about addressing myself and limiting beliefs. I'm here. I'm in the process. I'm going to be getting married in August 2020. Yeah. yeah. I'm also in the process of writing a book called "You and Sales Not Act Like It." Yeah. I didn't believe in the idea itself. I kind of knew that it was a book that was needed, but I didn't believe in it. So when it came to writing the book on a daily basis, I didn't believe in it at all. Yeah. And last day, working with I.O., he just basically took away 90% of the stuff that was not needed. I said, you know, just work on that 10%, just focus on that particular area. Um, there's a rapper, he says, we need to do more deleting and less saving. So sometimes our entrepreneurial journey is not really about um, getting more information, especially if it's useless information. It's about getting rid of, you know, the same thing with distractions as well. It's like, get rid of that one, get rid of that one, get rid of that one, get rid of that one. Your path becomes clear. And everything like that. That's that's what that's that's what I found to be very very effective. And it's all I've been coached by this 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 young man who um, was we've been coached for about six months, right? Yeah, about six months. Yeah, I've even got a Facebook campaign. And I hate Facebook. Yeah, I've got a Facebook campaign with like thousands of likes and everything. Do you see what I mean? And it's all down to his digital marketing as well.